What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Tesla Canadian Dad. Today, we are talking about dash cam update. We've been asking for it for years. Well, for me, for months. <laughs> but it's finally here. It is finally being pushed through. The dash cam viewer is now available on the Tesla Model 3. Actually, it's available on the Model X and S as well. And as I'm assuming as well as Model Y. So the update is finally out. It is slowly rolling out. Uh, about 2% of people will actually have it as of this moment. I'm one of the lucky ones. So we're gonna get my first impression on the Tesla dash cam viewer right now. So some of my early impressions is that it's really snappy. I'm actually pretty impressed on how quick and fluid it is. There's a very little amount of delay. Actually, I don't really notice any delay whatsoever when you're actually switching between clips, switching between cameras. It is way better than I expected for the first release. So now you can actually watch what's going on when your car is parked without actually having to take out the USB drive or use a wireless transmitter or anything like that, which is obviously insanely useful um, and something I've been waiting for and all of you and a lot of you, I should say, uh, have also been waiting for. So uh, hold tight if you don't have it yet, but uh, it looks really, really impressive as of now. As always, don't forget to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button. Uh, we really appreciate it. Obviously, uh, I haven't made as many videos of late because of all of this. But uh, when this is all over, hopefully I'll uh, jump back into it and uh, start making more and more videos. I have a parody idea that I kind of want to do for uh, Tesla Model uh, 3 version 11. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. So that's pretty neat. We have uh, one event occurred here. Tap to view. Six minutes, 53 seconds. Let's fast forward this. Wow, so it's a, it's a long clip here. It's almost a seven minute clip, but you can really easily just scrub through it and then snap from different angles. Look at this guy. Man, he looks like trouble. Now we can actually delete it if uh, if we don't want to keep this thing. We can actually just delete it with this uh, delete. Your footage would be permanently deleted. I actually don't want to delete that. There's actually a part of here I want to kind of see if I can take a look at. How simple is that, right? Super simple. So a few additional things that I kind of want to talk about is uh, for some of you, the Tesla Model 3 um, early beta access autopilot, so full self-driving options is now stopping at red lights. So it's coming, who knows when it's going to actually come here to Canada, but as you can see in my car, the car is actually noticing red lights um, as you can actually see the yellow lights and the green lights. So actually notices all three colors obviously uh, it doesn't stop yet but it is noticing these things it's also noticing the stop sign uh, so again uh, where the car should stop there's like a line that shows up on the screen here you're gonna see in a moment uh, that will display on the ground where the car will stop when full self-driving is actually released uh, here in Canada when it comes to the red lights and stop sign so I'm uh, heading up to a red light right now and you can see that it's noticing that it's red the lights are red here and there's a line where the car should stop as well. So that uh, I, I passed it a little bit as you can see here. Um, but um, yeah, hopefully the car does a better job than I do when it comes to stopping our red lights. Just kidding. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. As always though, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get to a thousand subscribers. It doesn't cost you anything. I really appreciate it. And, and we'll catch you in the next episode. If you guys are thinking of buying a Tesla Model 3 or any other Tesla for that matter, consider using my uh, referral code. You can find it in the link below, uh, in the description below. And, uh, you know, get yourself some free supercharging. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind some extra free supercharging as well. I do intend to do some road trips when all this is done. 
So hopefully uh, you guys uh, are gonna consider using that. I got cars everywhere. They are going super slow. A lot of cars like that one, I don't get it. People can actually get loud cars for free. You just have to break it down. My little brother loves it. Brum, brum. <laughs> can you hear it?